Texas Parks and Wildlife still searching for a woman who went missing after falling off a party barge on Lake Travis last night. And this is just the latest case. Family and friends continue to search for a man who disappeared while swimming near a boat in Lake Travis two weeks ago. And last week, a boat on Lake Travis crashed into a sandbar, sending three people to the hospital. KVU's Christy Millward is here, and Christy, officials say people need to think safety first. Well, Mike, this weekend kicks off National Boat Safety Week. According to the National Safe Boating Campaign, Texas ranks number two in boating deaths and number four in boating accidents. And officials say that doesn't have to be the case. The fire extinguishers would be located here. Chase Philip Randazzo was checking his list. We have additional vests. Getting ready to go on the lake. We also have a full first aid kit. Each of these items, he says, is vital to staying safe on the water. These are dangerous pieces of equipment. People lose their lives all the time, and you can lose your life like this. At his business, Water Ski Lake Austin, Randazzo offers water ski lessons, the Texas Parks and Wildlife boat safety course, and the only hands-on boat driving class in the Austin area. According to Texas Parks and Wildlife, in 2017, there were 45 boating deaths on Texas waters, up 28% from the year before. They say there were also 172 boating accidents and 83 boating-related injuries. Once you get on the water, you have to deal with Mother Nature, the weather, and then human nature, which is the additional people. Randazzo says that's problems like other drivers who don't know what they're doing or your own passengers who may have had too much to drink. As they drink, they get drunk three times quicker on the water. Or that can at least be the feeling due to the motion, sun, and wind. Texas Parks and Wildlife game wardens say alcohol is the leading contributing factor in recreation boating deaths. Randazzo reminds boaters to wear life jackets, stay at least 100 feet away from other boats, and turn off the boat engine whenever you stop, preventing carbon monoxide and propeller dangers. Right now, Texas law only requires people born after September 1993 to go through a boating education course, so anyone over 25 years old isn't required to do so. Experts highly recommend a course which you can take online. We have a link to that on our website at KVU.com. Christy Thanks, Millward, Christy. KVU News. Thanks, Christy. Appreciate it. A lot of things we should already know, but it is always good to get a reminder.